Today I'd like to talk to you about spacer block sets and tapered parallels. Tapered parallels may seem to be a contradiction in terms. Tapered and parallel, how can it be? Well these are tapered parallels. They're cut in half and ground, two screws and both halves can slide and you nip them into position. Come in a range of sizes. This is a set from half inch to two and a quarter inch or 12.7 mil up to 57.15 mil. Then this is a spacer block set, a poor man slip gate set, maximum largest one is one inch, so they go one inch, another inch, so you can stack them up probably about three or four inches, one, two, three, four, maybe six inches high, up to one thou steps. The smallest measurement can be one thou. With a tapered parallel, it's how fine you can tap it and nip it, so if you want it to be one tenth of it, of one thou, quite easily achievable. You do have to measure these blocks as you're setting them up, nip them up, then measure them again, make sure they haven't moved. These are set and forget. You can put them under a sign bar, something you want to set a height, a stop, tool and cutter grinding, all that sort of thing. But today, if you've been good followers of my channel, you would have watched the video already on the spin jig where I showed you how to make an XL pulley and how I left extra on, but well, the design length was 44 millimeter, which is the gap in between those two bearings. In the manufacture, you always try to be a bit flexible in your design so you can make adjustments on the run if necessary. And I decided to just let the bearing sit slightly proud of the main housing. I made a 0.1 of a mil less depth. I undone the tapered barrel, slide it in, you hang on to one end and you pull the other end with your other finger so as it just gets nipped finger tight nip it up check if there's any slack if not try again sometimes it does move when you tighten the screws so then what you do just get your mic and do your measurement you could use a vernier or old that's old school they're all digital calipers now and try to get in but you may not be able to reach you may try a Telescopic gauge might be to get in, but diameters is great, self centers, but flats takes a bit more skill. You measure that, then if you know bearings, the faces are uh, one are below the other, so you, ha you have to have a adjustment for your length to make that undercut. So the design was 44, I measured it as 1.17 inches, which is 46. Point 6.1, you think, wait a minute, designed to be 44, you've added 0.1.1, should have been 46.8, true. But then you get yourself a good set of feeler gauges. After a while they may rust, the ends may be a bit damaged, especially if you use them for adjusting your car, tappets, that sort of thing, which people don't do these days. So then, just get your feeler gauges and slide it in between the face of the bearing, and I've done that, and they were 0.9. 0.09. So we had those 0 0.9, 0 0.18 to the 43.6, 118, well 16, and it adds up to be exactly 44, less the less the 0.2 I took off. It's the spec. I know what size to make this. When you machine the large face, you have to make sure you have clearance. So I know that needs to be at least 0 0.1 step on that face, so as it'll sit on the right part of the bearing and not hit the part that doesn't move. The outer race, go face that off and machine that. So they are quite versatile, quite useful, and if you do any tool and cutter work, any gauge work, and then it's a bit more accurate, I highly recommend it. And you can use them in your vice. The trouble with these ones is they only have a small face plus large diameter, whereas these can fit in, they're about quarter thick, and you can set up that material you want to machine if you haven't got the right size permanent barrel strip nip it up but don't go hitting it with the hammer to make it see because if you hit it it will move on you so these are just for measurement and light setup work so if you can afford it i highly recommend the tapered parallels these also make a good set they have the users the spacer block set i would tend to buy them first or even though they are cheaper but i highly recommend both so if you enjoyed the video tell your friends 
If you haven't, tell me. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.